Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to talk about an arm lock that was done in a Kodokan competition, not a Kosen Judo competition. But before I do that, I truly want to thank you, every single one who has purchased a copy. I Amazon gives you a trimestrial uh, report, and I saw hundreds uh, were sold. So I cannot thank you enough. This will exceeded my expectations, and I'm just very thankful and truly. Thank you. And of course, if you're still very interested in it, the link will be uh, below. Truly, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. So today, uh, I'm going to review uh, the uh, arm lock that I talked about in Sambo yesterday and compare it with a uh, judo, a Japanese format of competition uh, that a lot of people mentioned in the comment. And I do this think that it deserves its own uh, video. So yesterday I showed this in a very short video. So I talked about this arm lock where you take both lapels, thread the leg over and then pull the arm towards you. Now notice that the elbow was still extended. It is not targeting the elbow, but rather the shoulder, but in a way where you are putting the elbow, uh, parallel or right behind or above the uh, shoulder and that can be very dangerous since the lever is very short so you have shoulder locks where the arm is straight like this one here and you have one where the arm is bent and the lever is a bit longer and it but it's still kind of of course dangerous but not as much as this so let's take a look he goes for a seoi nage pulls guard and notice the weight difference. This is a Kohaku Shiai and threads the far leg into it and then pulls the arm, gets on top, but he was still pulling on the arm, which got him the tap. Let's see it in slow motion. So I got this from Hal Sharp. May he rest in peace. So it's a same sided Seoyanage. Barely phased him since there is a lot of weight difference. He tries to drive it down, putting him down. And then so he pulls. Uh, into Seitai position and watch what he does. So uh, on the left side of his opponent, uh, he pushes the elbow away, kind of like a spider hook, and then sits a little bit to his side so he can get the far leg over the back to thread the far arm. And then from there, he got him almost uh, standing sideways so he can pull back his leg and adjust his position so he can get him on his back. That alone is a pin, especially here. And then he turns his buttocks upward, which now classifies as a pin. I don't know what you call that pin, but here, notice how he grabs the leg behind the arm behind the back and pulls on the forearm. The elbow itself, he's pulling the forearm, forearm away. He's not uh, pulling the elbow upward. Uh, there's a big difference. Now, um, it's uh, still, it's kind of is mimicking that uh, same mechanics, but uh, with a bent arm, you kind of have to push a little bit more. So the lever is uh, not as short. So technically, this is legal even today. So he drops for Sayoinage pulls him into him since he had a bent over posture. You see, this is the difference between uh, Kohaku Shiai and the Batsugun that I talked about. You have, uh, think of the early 2000s in terms of rules. You have leg grabs, you have Yuko, um, many things, but this is just done for black belt. So if you win, you have to win all your fights and you stay uh, on the spot. You win, the other guy comes, you don't rest. So I believe it's about five that you have to beat. So imagine the cardio, the mental resilience, etc. So let's take a look again here. So it's a spider hook and at the same time pushing with the arm in order to get the leg uh, in from the far back and now readjusts his position. Uh, he was on his side for a bit and then he readjusts his position, pulling on the lapel and then goes fully back in order to get his opponent onto his back brutal form of control and at the same time notice the size difference this is what makes it so uh so great and then he puts the leg behind very much like the uh sambo example but yet he reaches for the arm but he doesn't pull it towards him in a where the elbow is locked but rather where the elbow is bent or the arm is bent 
and then puts his buttocks up because now it classifies as a pin look he's already tapping and then you pull the elbow the forearm towards the upper back um, it's not lifting the elbow up that what makes it uh, painful but not as dangerous this is what i'm trying to say i should have put this in the video yesterday but it deserves its own video so for the commentators thank you now let's take a look at the actual submission where this form arm lock derives from so this is te gatame so much like a lot of submissions it has a basic form and it has multiple variations which technically uh, falls under the category of te gatame te is hand gatame is hold or to control so uh, the basic form is this one where you lock the elbow and grab the uh, hand with your own hand so uh, this is what it means to grab the hand with your own and unlock the arm uh, with the rest of your arm or the other arm like here for example you see so this throw is now uh, forbidden uh, ude gaishi which is a form of yoko wakari and here you can see it's locked and he taps where you can extend your arm and lock the elbow so let's take a look at uh, a few forms on the ground where you can do this so here notice he's pulling he's pushing the the forearm or the hand towards the the neck which makes it painful so let's see it here he's trying to pass the guard and so he he's doing like an over under or a double under hook and so what he does is he lifts his opponent up but please if you're doing this be careful the neck you can easily uh you know drop it like a hammer so be careful when you're doing this and now he grabs the arm and push it towards as if he's trying to drive it into the neck but here the neck is safe so please be careful when you're doing this type of passing and uh, now here he tries to escape out of the out of the pin and here this is exactly what happened he's pulling the hand and the forearm towards the neck up he's not maneuvering the elbow up below the shoulder because that would just pop immediately he, while here you have uh, some time before you tap and it, and it hurts this is the difference when they say don't target the elbow versus the arm lock and you can do it like this in a form of an ude garami where you grab only the hand and you thread your arm in and you lift uh, upward locking the shoulder so um, i really hope you enjoyed this presentation um, I really like the sophisticated setup behind the arm lock that happened, which can also be, would have been a pin. And uh, let me know what you think down below. I might be biased towards judo, but I like the judo one a lot better. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my book and my Patreon. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.